and then rising kings, queens, stars, goddesses, multi exclusive dimensional being card with another exclusive. All right, now this video is about how to subconsciously control your mind. Yes, it's very in motherfucking important. How is the key word now? How to do this is you stepping out your comfort zone and taking time on controlling your mind. But of course, you need preparation. You need to clear your mind. Know what I'm saying? Because your mind can be over jammed, overwhelmed. Now, when something is overwhelmed, that means it took on too much shit. It's too stable. It's too hard. So you got to basically... Release, you know what I'm saying? You got to release out these chemicals, these archons, all these bacterias that accumulated and got heavy and dense. Because a lot of motherfuckers be feeding their mind bullshit. And you don't need to be feeding your mind no motherfucking bullshit. You need to be feeding your mind some real shit. You know what I'm saying? Because remember, now subconsciously, when we talking subconsciously, this is internally. Yes, everything starts with thin. We don't see your thoughts. You can only display this by communicating with someone. Now, if you don't know how to communicate with yourself, then you will never know how to control your mind. Because at the end of the day, when you dream, everything is about you. When you talk about certain people, places, and things, or certain idols, or whoever you praise, we only see you. So you better get with the program, motherfucker. And you got a lot of disclaimers saying, oh, this motherfucker crazy because he's talking to himself. I'm pretty sure you ever you heard the term of when you believe in yourself, you get out, you get way more out of it. Now, for a dumbass person to really sit here and say that talking to yourself is a form of crazy, that's a person that don't know the motherfucking selves. That's a person that's lost into this reality. You know what I'm saying? Because motherfuckers know they talk to themselves. All the motherfucking time. Motherfuckers know when somebody's pushing their buttons, they talk to themselves. They say, yo, you this motherfucker gonna see my side if they play with me. When your ass looking at your phone or hosting on your uh, social media, that's you talking to yourself, nigga. I don't, I don't see the social media basically coming out the phone and saying, oh, by the way, you know what I'm saying? This is you interacting with a reflection of you. You know what I'm saying? Now, these reflections of you can be good or it can be bad. Depending on what kind of frame you're in. Now listen. Now how to subconsciously control your mind. You know what I'm saying? Understand and understand. Your mind is your mental. You know what I'm saying? All in the mind. Everything is all in the mind. But remember. When we talking a spirit. A spirit. A spirit is basically a gas. Your space. You know what I'm saying? A spirit is basically no representation. It's nothing added separation you cannot see your spirit you cannot see none of that shit you cannot that's not even your spirit ain't the flesh your spirit ain't the soul your spirit is basically a gas now when we talk in subconsciously this is your subconscious now this is the experience now your soul basically is going with the time experiences is doing this spiral now when we talk in energy this is the flesh now i'm saying the more you do your spiral the more you start to accumulate and create. This is basically your imagination, your fire, your gas. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, it's very important to basically control your mind. If you don't know how to control your mind, now is the time. It's never too late. It costs zero dollars to get your fucking mind back. So what you need to do, you need to focus. You know what I'm saying? You need to have a clear mind. You need to understand and understand first and foremost. Your thoughts are not yours. These are what you're receiving. These are not something that you can control unless you fight for that shit. And that's real shit. Now, look at it like this. Look at all of the programs that you're in. School, laws, politics, new rules, regulations. Look at these all as like programs. Now, listen. <clears throat> Once you keep feeding rules, regulations, and shit outside of you, it starts to fake its reference and basically subconsciously program you. 
to the point that, oh, you got to do this, you got to do that. And when you don't do these things, you get the guilt program. You start to fear, you start to worry. That's the whole purpose of basically creating. Now, your thoughts and feelings ain't yours. These are your children. Remember, your, ch your children is basically your creations. You know what I'm saying? So whatever you're constantly thinking about, whatever you constantly grasping towards, this is what you're creating. Remember that shit. You're doing this shit. Nobody the fuck else is doing it. So if you're living in hell, that's your fucking fault. You need to get your ass out of that shit. Nobody go take take responsibilities. Take spiritual responsibilities. That's your fault. You gave your power to somebody. You allowed to somebody to get in your mind. Live in your mind rent free. They don't pay rent. They don't do none of that shit. They in your mind freely. Boom, basically. That's what's going on. You know what I'm saying? And the moment you keep allowing this shit, the moment your mind is gonna wear and tear to the point you're gonna wear and tear out this fucking body. And basically you're gonna Pick another body to vibrate in, to look for, and create. And when you do this shit, you in the same circumstance situation again. Because you die with a whole lot of shit on your mind. You might be born as a twin in your next life. Because basically, all that shit was down. Like, it was rock, like, things was just too hard for you to basically pick up. So, when you did die, this was on your mind. So you went down, you soaked down, you know what I'm saying? You soaked in the rivers, you know what I'm saying? You wasn't able to uplift yourself. You wasn't able to get them rocks off. You wasn't able to get those barrels, those caves off you. You wasn't able to get them motherfucking chains off you. Them shits grasped you. Them shits took you down, you know what I'm saying? You're weak. You're not about it. You're lazy. You allow people to basically run your life. And that's what's going to keep happening when you get in your next shape and form. Now, it's very important to basically know how to train your mind. Now, listen, controlling your mind is you taking your power back, talking to yourself. Talking to yourself is the only way you're going to control your mind. I'm telling you this shit right now. You know what I'm saying? Because it's very important to understand and understand where you're coming from with this concept. The more you go within yourself, the more you blind and set shit away, which is distractions and separations. Once you put these things aside, once you take time for yourself and work on yourself and do shadow work, this way, nobody's basically having interruptions or intervenes with you. This is you on the verge, on the level to take back your mind. Now, every day is a process. Every day is a challenge. Every day is a goal. Now, the goal is to basically stay in this shit. To stay in that vibration of taking power and control over your life. Now, I'm saying when you start something, you don't stop. Now, I'm saying the moment you stop is the moment you allow someone else to go in your mind and take away and control your mind. Now I'm saying? They're going to take your mind. They're going to utilize tethering cords. And they're going to be controlling you and manipulating you. And that's the whole purpose. Man, which is a masculine shape and form. Ip is going in you. Palation, Pluto, slaughter you. Manipulation, control you. And boom, nations. Now you got a full... Race of nations, full world of nations, of people, places, and things getting manipulated and controlled. You know what I'm saying? And that is not something that you want to allow in your motherfucking life. You want to take your power back. You want to take your energy back. You want to say no. You make sure you do this every day. Things will start to play in your position every way. And people won't try to try to play with you every day. People will realize that they can't fuck with you in no way. And basically, this is what you're going to have to do every day. And when, when you don't take no days off, God in the universe going to plant good seeds in front of you every single motherfucking day. Know what I'm saying? So ain't nothing nobody can say to you. The challenges, the oppositions will get hard because you're being tested. But if you really want something to play in your favor, you want something, you want to chase for it, you got to put in the motherfucking work. And teamwork make the dream work. Remember, you ain't doing this shit to learn. You got kids within you. You got spirit God that was here that was here before you, and you got ancestors that's watching over you. So either way, you got people that's here to help you and assist you. You just gotta stay true to yourself and act in your powers. Get with you, or they gonna get with you, and you don't want nobody to get with you. Know what I'm saying? You want a equilibrium. You don't want motherfuckers tarnishing and taking control of you. you know what I'm saying you want to have that balance where. If you give me this, I get this in return. If I give you this, you get this. You, you got to give me this in return. You know what I'm saying? And that's how it play out. You don't fucking praise no fucking body but your motherfucking self. 
You don't give your power to nobody but your motherfucking self. You keep doing that shit, you're going to basically compromise your control that you won't have over your motherfucking mind. And that's real shit. I love you.